I want to unpack empathy because empathy is um, one of those things that we talk about a lot. I mean, people being empathetic, empathetic listening. We know it's a crucial part of how we communicate and really important in teams, whether it's service industries, health industries, but across the board, having the ability to understand what's happening for someone and actually respond actively is a, is a very powerful skill. So there's actually three, so three types of empathy. One is cognitive empathy, one is emotional empathy, and one is empathetic concern. When we think about cognitive empathy, it's the ability to understand another person's perspective. So we kind of get where they're coming from. You might think, oh, yeah, right, I get what's happening for you. I understand. So it's at that level. It's kind of still sitting across from them, just observing, and you've actually got the message of what's actually going on for them. The second level of emotional empathy is the ability to feel what another person feels. Um, and I've mentioned potentially a couple of times before about um, the importance of sometimes interacting face to face, the ability to actually build empathy because we actually get a full picture um, you know, from the body, from the slight twist in their mouth, how their eyes spark. We get a better understanding. And what actually happens is in our you know, emotional centres tend to fire in the same place as this. So we actually can really feel, pretty much name what that emotion is, whether it's concern, whether it's stress, whether it's a feeling really pessimistic about something, but you actually get that feeling really strongly. And the third level is whatever is going on for someone is actually um, compassionate empathy. And this is the level of empathy that's just that little bit, um, you know, that we kind of want to reach, where you have the ability to sense what another person needs from you at that time, but you actually know how to shift them from that place of concern or stress or frustration into something different. So it's actually being proactive in noticing it, calling what the emotion is, um, and then being able to do something that actually supports them. In a customer service or when someone is actually in a frustrated situation or something's going on and they're starting to elevate their emotion, perhaps the emotion might be anger you see and you sort of see them, you know, jumping up and down and they're raising their voice. What they're actually trying to do is communicate that they're actually feeling that. Once you name that emotion and you say, oh, I sense that you feel, you know, hot, really frustrated about this or you're feeling quite angry about this, as soon as you say that, they don't need to communicate this with this vigour anymore because you actually got them. So that's really important that you actually name that emotion. I hope that's helpful just on thinking about how you support someone. Are you supporting to understand? You probably have people before that go out and sympathy with you and just go into that, that second level of, of um, emotional empathy, but not take you to that third to help you to actually shift out of it. They might say, do you know what? We're going for a walk and they actually get you up and move and you start to talk and walk and all of a sudden you start to feel a bit differently, you've got a bit of the dopamine happening and you start to shift that emotion. Or perhaps they say, you know what, I know someone that you need to speak with and they'll actually, you know, organise a call and get you set up. So make sure it's taking those next steps. Hope that's helpful.